Let's find the sum of these mixed numbers. Remember, to add or subtract mixed numbers, we do have to have a common denominator. I will definitely leave these in mixed number form, though, and simply add vertically. Now, notice the denominator of 8, denominator of 5, denominator of 4. What is the least common denominator? I'll write it over here. The least common denominator is 40. So let's go through now and let's rewrite each mixed number so that the fraction part has a denominator of 40. All right, so I have 3 and 7 eighths. 8 times what number gives me 40? Well, 8 times 5 gives me 40. Now remember that 5 because we'll now multiply 7 times 5 and that's 35. Let's continue, 7, and now let's work on 2 fifths. 5 times what number gives me 40? Well, 5 times 8 is 40. Keep in mind that 8 because we now need to multiply 2 times 8, and we have 16. And then our last mixed number, 3 fourths. What do I multiply 4 by in order to have 40? I multiply it by 10, so remember the 10. 3 times 10 is 30. So now let's go ahead and let's add. 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 2 is 12. And now let's add all of our fraction parts. 35 plus 30, that's 65. And 65 plus 16 is 81. And that's 81 over 40. Now we will not leave our result in this form because notice the fraction part is actually an improper fraction. So let's go off to the side here. That's 81 over 40. And let's simply write this fraction part itself as a mixed number. 81 over 40, well 40 divides into 80 two times. And what's our remainder? 1. We will add that to 12. Now we'll add the whole number parts. 2 plus 12 is 14. And then we have the 1 40th. Our sum as a proper mixed number is 14 and 1 40th.